Remember how a few days ago I made a video on that uh, graphics card, the 9970 or 50 slash 50? Uh, I got a follow up with that, follow follow video with that. So I just want to let you guys know to take everything here with a grain of salt. Okay, um, he got some benchmarks out here. He got some information about this card, but you know, just don't be shocked if maybe he lied about it. Maybe he didn't. Why would he do that? I don't know. Attention, uh, or you know, if, if when a card does come out, like don't be shocked that it might not be what I'm saying here. Uh, this guy says his NDA expired, and now you can talk about it. So these should be the specs. So here we go. Here we start off, um, and these are in, in, in to, to, to compete with the uh, Nvidia 700 series uh, graphics card that recently came out. So it's going to have 2,600 and 2,816 stream processors. It's going to have four gigs of uh, built-in video RAM, and the OEMs are going to have uh, six gigs versions, apparently. Uh, but 4 gigs is more than enough, literally. 4 gigs is more than enough, nothing to worry about there. Uh, it's going to have the memory clock is anywhere from 1020 to 1250 megahertz, which will operate at 6.1 to 7.5 gigahertz effective. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, it does not say here where how much watts it's going to use. Uh, but. All right, so here are the benchmarks. These are competing against the 780 and the Titan. Oh my God, the GTX Titan is so overpriced for what it's performing at. Anyway, um, we got Alien versus Predator 3, we have Battlefield 3, and we have 3D Mare uh, Fire Strike. Uh, so, uh, let's see here. As you can see, it pretty much beats it. Pretty much, uh, even even at 10, even at 1600p, uh, it pretty much beats it. Uh, you can see here with no AA, 4x AA, no AA. Uh, so uh, let's see here. For let's go on to um, not Alien vs Predator, move Battlefield 3, and then Crisis 3. Uh, but as you can see with Alien vs Predator, it still beats it. Uh, 160 frames, and the GGX 780 is 131, and the Titan is 151. And you go down, you can see it's still dominates as you can see uh, when it comes to battle 3 is 140 frames uh, with uh, no DAA and HAA so and compared to the, uh, the uh, 780 it's 119 so about 20 more frames and Titan is just five more frames I really don't understand why this card is so expensive and, and don't give me oh my god it's Six gigs of video RAM. So you're telling me it's worth four hundred dollars more for six gigs of video RAM? Seriously, like it doesn't perform. It performs better than the 780, but it's just so close to the point where you'll just feel like it's a ripoff. Uh, five frames better. Oh my God. Um, so yeah, look, look you, you, you can see it. You can see all the whole specs right here. Yeah, 107, 191, 99. God, the Titan. <laughs> uh, and Crisis 3 is a little bit different. Uh, 54, 55, and 59. And with 4X MSAA, it's 44.5. Uh, 780 is 42.7. And Titan is 39.9. What the hell? What? Anyway, um, as you can see, with a C, uh, 3D Mayor Fire Strike, it has a score of, you could ba basically run it out to about 4,700. And the 780 is 4,400. And the Titan is 4,759. So, pretty much. As you can see, it's gonna be using anywhere from 88 to 357 watts. So, that's, I guess it's pretty decent, pretty good. Uh, Compared to the 780 at 331 and the Titan at uh, 372. So the Titan does put a little bit more, but seriously, the Titan a thousand dollars is just a ripoff. And AMD did say that how they're not aiming for the ultra enthusiasts, which would include the dual GP solutions. They're aiming at the enthusiasts, you know, but not ultra with the single solution graphics card at a reasonably price point. 
because they know not everybody has a thousand dollars to spend on the graphics card. Like seriously, a thousand dollars? Like that? That what? No. Uh, so yeah, compared to the Titan, it is pretty much. Is it better? I mean, it's right there, if not a little bit better than the Titan. And you know, you compare it to the Titan, the Titan is a thousand dollar graphics card compared to this. There, this card is going to be probably anywhere between 600, maybe 550 to 650. That's what they're going for. That is what they're going for. For more, so more likely, this is kind of a competitor towards the 780 in terms of the price range. Not the Titan. The Titan is just such a ripoff. Amazon has more cooler cores, but seriously, I mean, mmm. No, 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 no. Uh, so yeah, that's um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Uh, this card is quite a beast, uh, and you know, if AMD can get the price pretty low, which they they do, plan on aiming from 550 to 650, it's no problem. What do you guys think about that? Cool or what? What do you guys think? Uh, leave a comment below. As always, I'll talk to you later.